part of the problem that we're looking at here involves a magnetic field. So we have to go back and review magnetic fields. Let's say you have a positive 5 Coulomb charge that's moving up the board. And you remember, what does this dot mean for the magnetic field? That means the magnetic field is coming out of the board. So let's see if we can predict what is going to be the direction of the force on this positive 5 Coulomb charge. Do you remember how to figure out the direction of the force on that charge? Um, and all we're going to worry about is the direction. And the V is your thumb? Ah, let's see. Now there's a bunch of different uh, versions, but yeah, you tell me which one you're using. And the we can one see where it. the force is the direction of your thumb. Ah, okay. So yeah, so, so who, who, who was your fingers then? V, the direction okay. of V. And then V is your velocity. So the force is to the right. Okay. Yeah. So, what did you? Which? Who? Who got the fingers? V. And the palm. V. Oh wait, no F. And V. Like this. Uh -huh. And what direction did you get then? To the right. Okay, that'll work. I don't think that's actually the version that we worked, what we used when we worked, went over this together previously, but if that's the one that you're getting used to, that's fine. So there's many different versions of the right hand rule. So I think the one that we used together was this. I think we were in the habit of actually pointing the fingers in the direction of V. But if, is this the one that you're, you're comfortable with? I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, if you're not that comfortable with that, why don't we go back to this one? Because this is the one that we've been using uh, in other times. Say the force goes to the left, though. This one? Yeah. I hope not. They're both supposed to work, so let's see. I don't think so. So let's see. Yeah, your fingers would be pointing up, and then um, your palm would be point pointing uh, out of the page. That's right. So again, we would do that the force is to the right. Okay. So confusingly, there's a lot of different right hand rules that work. So you could use either of these, but I think this is the one that we used before. So let's go ahead and use this. However, keep in mind that actually the what matters is not V. What matters is QV. Oh, yeah. So it's always good to actually write down. So what was the direction of V here? Up. But what's the direction of QV? Up. Yeah, in this case, they happen to be in the same direction. But they don't have to be in the same direction. So it's always a really good habit to actually write down the direction of QV. Yeah, so now we put our fingers up in the direction of QV, and our palm should be pointing out of the page in the direction of B, and then my thumb is pointing to the left. So the force, no, my thumb was pointing, oh, well, it depends, I guess, which way you're looking. Yeah, but now my palm is pointing to the right. Good. So the force, the magnetic force would be to the right. Good. So what direction is this? Going, uh, what direction is this going to accelerate in? The right. Because the direction of the acceleration is the same as the direction of the force. If we're getting pushed to the right, we're going to accelerate to the right. Okay, so we need to do a little more practice with that. So let's figure out what the direction of the force would be here. 
we have a negative three Coulomb charge moving to the right, and the magnetic field is going into the page. What's the direction of QV going to be? To the left. Good. It's a good habit to actually write down the direction of QV. V is to the right, but Q is negative. So QV is in the opposite direction. So our fingers point to the left, and then our palm should be pointing into the board. Our palm should be pointing into the board because the magnetic field is into the board. And then the thumb is pointing down. I think that's what you said? Yeah. So the force would be down. And what direction would the acceleration be? Down. Good. Now we still need to do a little review before we're ready for the problem, so let's try this. If the magnetic field is to the right and the force, magnetic force, is coming out of the board, what direction would QV be in? Up. See? So now our palm should be pointing to the right and our thumb should be pointing out of the board. Palm to the right and thumb out of the board. Oh, down. Yeah, so I think, do, do you see how I got that? Yeah. Uh, palm is pointing in the, into the rightward direction. Thumb is pointing the direction. Going in. Okay, good. So did we get this right now? Uh, and then the uh, QV would be in the direction of the fingers, which would be down. So previously, in the previous examples, I kept get telling you these first two things, and you were trying to figure out the direction of the force. However, in order to solve the problem that we're working on, they're not going to give you, uh, they're going to give you, not just give you the first two things, they're going to give you some of the other, if, you, if we know any two of these things, we can find the third. If we know any two of these, we should be able to find the third. Let's get a little more practice. Let's find the direction of QV here. Um, into the board? What's the symbol for that? Um, an X. So now my palm should be facing down for the magnetic field, and then my thumb for the force should be pointing to the left. Palm down and thumb to the left, and then my fingers are pointing into the board. Good. So that's how we would find QV. <coughs> the direction of the magnetic field, the magnetic force, and the velocity, and we have to figure out the sine of Q. We have to figure out if we're dealing with a positive particle or a negative particle. Um, positive. I think the best way to do this is to figure out the direction of QV. So, the magnetic field here for our palm is pointing out of the board, and our thumb should be pointing to the right. Thumb to the right, palm out of the board. So then uh, the fingers are pointing in the direction of QV, which is up. So we know that QV is up, but we also know that V is up, because they told us that. Well, if V and QV are pointing in the same direction, then Q has to be positive. Okay, that's good. 
So this also allows us to figure out the charge. Okay. 